Hey Wildcats, Ms. Jacobson here, Principal of West High School. So. Rick Davis, Green Bay Police. I'm the school resource officer here at West, one of the two. Okay. And he, we're, he's here to help us with this week's announcement. All right, NWTC and UWGB are hosting virtual academic and career planning field trips as a way for students to learn more about career paths they are interested in. Virtual field trips are planned in the areas of human services, which include education, social work, and psychology, engineering, and IT or computer sciences. For more information and to register, visit gbaps.org slash ACP. If your student will want a locker to use when we return to school in a blended format, he or she will need to request one using the link sent to their email last week. Parents will also have the ability to request a locker for their student using the link sent in this week's email update. The alternative season for fall sports is starting soon. Students who want to participate need to make sure they complete all requirements and should take note of your sport's first practice date. If you have questions, please contact your coach. Practice dates, coach names, and registration information can be found at the link on your screen. Hey juniors, it's not too late to sign up for the free five session ACT prep course offered by the district. All sessions will be held virtually on Wednesday night from 5.30 to 6.30. Tonight is the first session. Students can sign up with the link on your screen. So tonight's session, which is February 3rd, is the first session. So you're not too late. Go ahead and sign up for that. The deadline for cap and gown ordering is February 15th. All graduates should have a cap and gown cord and a tassel for their graduation. You can order um, using the link on your screen. Uh, good news, AT&T is offering $10 internet to low-income families. Families can use proof of SNAP or food stamps, income statements, or proof of free or reduced lunch in order to verify eligibility. A parent in our district recently gave a testimony and said that she applied and used her SNAP benefits as proof, and they haven't been given any hidden fees or unexpected expenses, and she reported that it is an excellent signal. So use the link on your screen to apply. So the district is figuring out a way in which to have parents sign electronically for the expectation booklets that are given out every year to students. The district is now um, piloting a program that will allow you not to have to sign those booklets in person, but to sign them electronically. Um, West has been selected as one of those pilot schools so this week, um, there's going to be communications around signing these booklets electronically. If you've already signed it, send it in to the school, then you don't need to worry about this. That you will not be receiving a message. This is only for families who have not signed um, that sheet and turned it into schools. So, but it's an awesome innovation and it is one of the positive results of being virtual. Nice job. Thank you. Were you ever in radio in a former life? Oh, no? not in any way, no. No? Okay. <laughs> Must be all that practice of using the radio when you're out. That could be it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So uh, tell us a little bit about your, yourself and, and how long you've been in SRO and what you love about West. So I've been here for a little over a year and a half. Um, it's been a little bit strange because most of that time we've been in this pandemic situation so I, I haven't had a lot of chances to get to know a lot of the students. Um, but I love it here. It's, it's, it's good being part of the school because it kind of makes me feel like I'm back in high school myself in a good way. Um, I miss it. I miss being part of something like this. Um, working in law enforcement, we deal with a lot of negative parts of society and it's good to be here where there's a lot of positivity and we're not always just giving out tickets and enforcing the law and, and you know people aren't always angry when you show up. It's kind of nice to be in a little bit more of a positive role. So it's really a refreshing thing. It's good to do this. It's a nice change of pace from what I've done the last, well, 12, 12 and a half years before I started here. Um, but what I do here is basically, I, I'm kind of a bridge between the school and the police department. Um, I, I take part in a few classes every once in a while talking about subjects like 
drugs or gangs or, or other things that might uh, be of interest to students. So you're um, talking about classes in the building, right? You go into the classrooms and talk to students about certain law enforcement issues? Sometimes, but I've also yeah. done a few virtual classes this year. Oh, awesome. That's more coming Very up cool. um, later this month. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm, I'm learning the virtual thing just like everybody else. It's, it's tough, but we're all kind of trying to get through it together. Cool. Yeah. All right, thank you for helping out. No problem at all. All right, hey Wildcats, you guys have a great week, and man, we're starting up. It's getting closer and closer when we're going to be seeing you in person. Remember, we still have this uh, COVID-19 out there. We're still getting people uh, who are getting infected. So, to prevent um, infection, to prevent from getting COVID, you need to do a couple of things. You need to wear a mask, you need to socially distance, you just stay home and you need to wash your hands. Thanks, Bob Cats. Thank you.